Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another meal prep video. Um, my meal prep videos now are going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be following more of a little keto friendly, low carb, diabetic diet for meal prep um, for my gestational diabetes and then also, you know, just in general health. So I've been trying out a lot of different recipes and finding out what um, I like, what's easy. So if you are interested in any of those low carb, keto friendly, recipes and how I meal prep those on the weekends to make my work week easier, to make my food choices easier, to help keep me on track, then stick around for this video because I do not like the, the complicated tons of ingredients uh, recipes that you sometimes see with the low carb diets. If you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. My name is Narissa. I am a full-time working, soon-to-be mom of a little boy, and I was just recently diagnosed with gestational diabetes, so you may see some random pregnancy videos pop into my playlist, but also lots of food-related videos, shopping hauls, also videos that I like to watch, I like to make, because I get a lot of inspiration from watching other YouTubers, and it gives me motivation and inspiration to get things done and try new things. So I hope to have that for my channel as well. So I have my meal prep list here that I'm planning on getting done this weekend following my grocery haul. That was the previous video that I posted. I would like to get some chicken salad made for my lunches, some low carb chicken salad, uh, some taco meat for tacos and taco salads. I'd like to get some vegetables prepped to make the weeknight dinners easier, a few weeknight dinners easier. Um, also, I would like to get two different salads prepped, one from scratch and one from a bag from Aldi's, the Southwest salad that you get already prepared from Aldi's, um, which means I also need to prep some chicken breasts and also hard boiled eggs, and I would like to make some deviled eggs for a snack for myself. So stick around and let's see what I get done. All right, so first things first, before I meal prep, I want to clean everything off all my counter surfaces and this time I am using Mrs. Meyer's fall new fall scent pumpkin pumpkin spice maybe and oh it smells so good it's the perfect multi-surface spray to use this time of year although it's still 90 degrees where I live but um, I get all of my Mrs. Meyer's products from Grove Collaborative I don't have a Target near me Walmart is starting to carry some but they don't have these fall scents those are um, pretty limited, so I highly suggest Grove Collaborative if you like to find all natural, I should say more natural, safer cleaning products, beauty products, whatnot. I have a referral link below where you can get a bunch of Mrs. Meyers products for an extreme discount, and then I get $10 off my next order. Um, everyone gets a referral code, so it's not anything special. All right, so I have a pot of water boiling up on the stove, and then I got some ground venison frying up in my cast iron skillet. Um, I, a lot of times I use cast iron. A lot of times I use nonstick. It just depends on what I feel like. And I already had my cast iron out for um, something else, and I had it drying on the stove, so I decided to fry up my burger in the cast iron. So now I'm going to get started on my salad prep for this week. So I have a head of romaine here that I am going to chop up and get in my OXO salad spinner. And then I'm also going to chop up some iceberg lettuce. For some reason, I get sick of romaine a lot of times and I'll switch back and forth between iceberg and romaine. Romaine is more nutrient dense than iceberg. Iceberg is just mainly water. But sometimes you gotta switch it up and you gotta have some icebergs. So I'm getting uh, my OXO salad spinner basically full of the different lettuces and then I'm gonna squeeze half of a lemon juice over the top of the lettuce and fill it up with nice cold water to let that soak for just a few minutes so it gets nice and clean and it also crisps up. This is a really great trick that I learned from another channel um, Jen Chapin, her channel is great. I love her channel. So then I'm going to use my mix and chop here to break up some of the venison meat. Um, my husband and I grind our own venison meat. Um, he's the he's the hunter and I'm the the cooker, I suppose. I don't hunt at all, but um, 
we grind our own meat and we generally would not ever include fat in the burger but this year we did and I'm really enjoying it. So I'm going to let that continue to fry up on the stove and then I'm going to get my already pre-packaged Southwest salad that I got from Aldi's prepped into some separate containers for the work week. So I'm going to first separate that into three servings. That's what it says on the back of the package that it actually said three and a half servings which doesn't end up working out for me <laughs> but then switching back over my burger is ready um, how I like to mix in my taco seasoning is pour about a half a cup of water into the center of the meat and then mix in your taco seasoning in the water and then combine that all with your meat and let it simmer on low so this way the water evaporates from your burger also adds a little more moisture and then you have your taco seasoning evenly distributed and then I'm just going to add my eggs to my boiling water here I really like to do it this way I also finally have tried the 555 method for the instant pot and that is excellent as well so what I do on the stove top is just bring the water to a boil put my eggs in cook them for 14 minutes and then put them in an ice bath now back to my Aldi's three serving per bag Southwest salad. I'm going to add the cheese that came with the salad kit and now I'm going to add the dressing that came with it into three separate reusable containers. And I'm also going to take the tortilla strips and um, wrap them up into the bag that they came in. I'm just going to put them in two of the salads um, and I just cut the bag in half and wrapped them up. You don't want to add them to the salad directly or they will get soggy. So after looking at this I'm like man this is not going to cut it for a lunch for me. I'm really going to have to do something different here. So I took one of the salads and added it to the other two making two servings and that was a lot better um, much more filling lunch than the three serving portions here so those are done easy peasy I'm gonna get them loaded in the fridge and now my lettuce has been soaking long enough so I'm going to take out the strainer bowl dump out the water and I'm going to spin it dry and now I have some nice fresh crisp lettuce with hopefully maybe even a little bit of a lemon juice hint of flavor that I'm going to use to prep my from scratch salads for the work week. So I grabbed my meal prep containers. I got these on Amazon. I think they came in a pack of 10. It's just one compartment here um, with these meal prep containers. I also have some that have three compartments so this one is just one and I'm going to load three of them up with some lettuce as well as some cherry tomatoes that I have washed off always clean your produce produce people seriously you'd be amazed at the amount of dirt and grime that comes off of them and then I'm just gonna clear a space and make some room because I want to add some lunch meat this is going to be like a chef salad this is for my husband I don't I don't like lunch meat on my salads but he does so I'm going to get out the hard salami and turkey breast and chop up some of the lunch meat that I so I can add to his salads because he likes lots of protein on his salad and I don't necessarily the only protein that I really prefer on my salad is maybe some egg sometime but I like my salads without protein for some reason I'm not sure why but that's just the way I roll so I'm going to get this chopped up and separate it into three portions and add it to the container here and set them aside. All right, moving on to my hard boiled eggs. So I'm going to get a bowl of ice and then fill it with some cold water. That way I can get my eggs straight from the boiling water into this ice bath and let them sit for a good 
10 minutes or until the ice is melted. This will give you a nicely peeled egg every time. And now moving on to the taco meat. My taco meat is done, so I can get it into a glass dish and let it cool. This way I will have it ready for tacos and taco salads during the work week and it will save me a ton of time after work. And, and you can't beat that. So now I'm just showing you some canned turkey meat that I have done in the past. Um, this is something I love to do. I love to can protein because it makes such a quick and easy option for when you are out of ideas and don't have anything planned. So I highly recommend pressure canning proteins. All right, so I'm going to use that to make some chicken salad. And I have got my turkey meat in my bowl and then I put some real mayonnaise, it's much lower in sugar than Miracle Whip, into the bowl. And I've added some sweetener and salt and pepper. Now, to make your real mayonnaise taste like Miracle Whip, if you are a Miracle Whip lover over real mayo lover. I love both, but in this particular case, I'd prefer Miracle Whip. It's just much more high in sugar. Um, you can add some vinegar and sweetener. That will give you that tang that you're missing without the Miracle Whip. So um, I added a little bit of pickle juice there to my chicken salad, and then I'm cutting up some dill pickles and hoping that sweetener makes it sweet enough like the chicken salad that I would prefer to have. I like a sweeter chicken salad. All right, so I have my boiled eggs. They're done, they've cooled off, all the ice is melted. So I just grabbed another bowl of water that I can use to rinse off the eggs and get any little remaining shell bits that might be left over off and then dry it off with a paper towel. So I have my little scrap bag here, I put the eggshells in there, the scraps from the lettuce and the vegetables and everything. This will go to the chickens. Um, you might notice that I do not have multicolored eggs at this point. I have store-bought white eggs because my chickens are not laying enough eggs to keep up with my egg consumption at this point. So um, with gestational diabetes, you know, high protein, low carb diet um, and eggs are on the top of my list for protein at this point because you can put them in anything really so they're just not keeping up I had to go to the store and buy me some eggs all right so now I'm gonna get some chopped up for my chicken salad and then also get some chopped up for Mike's salads as well as get some prepped for some deviled eggs. So lots of eggs in this week's meal prep. Eggs three ways, I guess. So I'm going to um, use my little spatula here to break up some of that turkey meat. It really is tender, so um, really just stirring it would break it up. And so I'm gonna get this chicken salad nice and stirred up and then give it a taste and add some more sweetener. It just wasn't sweet enough for me. Um, and then also a little bit more mayo and vinegar to suit my taste. So it's really important for you to taste your food throughout because you all, we all have different tastes. And, you know, I prefer my chicken salad a little sweeter, whereas you might prefer it a little more savory. So it's important to just give it a taste and adjust the flavors from there. At this point, I'm going to get out some of my old school Tupperware here and I'm going to put three portions together for some lunches this week. And I plan on eating this chicken salad over a fresh garden tomato, kind of like you would tuna salad, um, chicken salad, same, same concept. And this was so good, I definitely will make this again. Um, the, the garden fresh tomatoes really set it off, but all right. So now I am just going to chop up some eggs for my husband's club chef. What <laughs> for my husband's, um, chef salads here. He likes a lot of egg on his salad. So I'm going to load them up. Then I'm 
going to add some shredded cheese. This is just great value fiesta blend pre-shredded shredded cheese to the top of the lettuce. And then I'm going to fill some dressing cups with this Olive Garden light. It's the light Olive Garden, I believe 30 calories per serving dressing, Italian dressing. Um, he's really been liking this recently. So I will get these loaded up and make them fit into these meal prep containers and get those in the refrigerator. Next, I'm going to meal prep some deviled eggs. Deviled eggs are an awesome high protein snack for those of us who are trying to increase our protein consumption and decrease our carb consumption. They are really, really good. And I'm going to try the same trick here with the egg yolks. Um, I prefer Miracle Whip. I'm a Miracle Whip girl over a mayo girl. So I'm going to try the trick with adding um, some vinegar and sweetener to replicate the Miracle Whip instead of leaving the real mayonnaise as is. And I think I did a pretty good job because they were delicious. I tend to like to stick with what I'm used to with deviled eggs. I haven't tried any of the new recipes that you see floating around the internet. Um, let me do know down in the comments below if you have, like, have you tried the avocado deviled eggs or like buffalo deviled eggs? Let me know if you have and what your favorite non-traditional deviled egg recipe is because um, I'd love to try it. I'd love to try something new here. I usually take the extra step to get out a plastic bag and pipe the egg yolk mixture into the eggs, but not today. We're making this a quick meal prep. All right, so for the first round of my meal prep on Saturday, I have three chef salads for Mike. I have my deviled eggs prepped and some turkey chicken salad prepped for me for lunches and then some garden fresh tomatoes that I will eat those on. And then I prepped my taco meat. This will be for tacos or taco salad throughout the week. And then I did have a container left over of lettuce that I will use throughout the week. And lastly, those two portions of the Southwest salad that was prepackaged that I got from Aldi's. All right, so I called it quits for that night. It was Saturday, I was ready to be done, so I thought I'd finish the rest. Um, I just had a little bit left to do on Sunday. So I am cutting up some onion and some green peppers, and I'm just gonna keep these raw in a bag, and I'm going to use these for a sausage and um, hot dog skillet, hot dogs for me for a weeknight meal. So I'll get all the vegetables cut up and then all I'll have to do is cut up the sausages, add them to the bag, and then I will have a bag, or I'm sorry, I will have a meal in a bag that all I'll have to do is throw into a skillet and it will cook up really fast and be a super easy weeknight meal. I really love these dump and go meals. All right, so then I'm going to get to chopping up my sausages. I found these at Aldi's. They're habanero um, flavored, and then all, of course, the um, never any all beef, no nitrates, nitrites, all of that um, hot dogs for myself. The hot ones are for my husband. So I'll just chop them all up and mix them all together and we'll be able to tell which is which so we can pick out which ones are hot and which ones are not. I also bought some sauerkraut at the store that I was going to use as the a side to, whoops, I dropped a piece of sausage um, and uh, it was really, really good. I love sausages and sauerkraut with ketchup and mustard. It's just like an old school um, low cost meal that we used to have when I was growing up and of course I would never eat the sauerkraut I always pick out the hot dogs but 
Um, now that I'm an adult, I do like the sauerkraut. <laughs> so um, that was a really great meal. I really enjoyed it. And lastly, for this meal prep video and for my meal prep weekend, I am going to prep some celery stuffed with peanut butter. And this was the most dirty celery I have ever bought in my entire life. It was filthy. Um, and this is how I clean my celery. Just get a damp paper towel and wipe the dirt off. But it was not easy cleaning this celery. I was not happy about it. But um, I've been pretty obsessed with peanut butter throughout my pregnancy. It is something that I can eat that doesn't affect my blood sugars that much. Um, it's almost like a dessert. Uh, so I'm combining it with some healthy roughage here and stuffing some celery with um, peanut butter that way. And I gotta say, it was not my favorite. Um, maybe, maybe next time I can add some raisins or something. Um, or maybe some walnuts to the top and that might add a little a little different flavor but this was not my favorite snack but it was healthy so I give myself an A for effort on that one so that is it for this week's meal prep I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it gave you some ideas and inspiration for some easy weeknight meal prep ideas and also some easy lunch and snack ideas to help you keep on track and reach your goals whether it be because you have gestational diabetes or whether it be because you are just trying to live a healthier lifestyle i hope you consider subscribing to my channel and give me a big thumbs up if you like these types of videos and i'll see you in the next one bye